Yo, what is going on guys? Colton back here again with another video and today we're looking at a new a new game, not a new video, Jesus. Well, it is a new video too, but a new game called Blood of Steel. So this game came out like within the last week or so and I was going to do a video on it prior, but I realized that there is a weird thing with the game that you have to kind of play for a specific amount of time and level up before you kind of can get fully engaged in it and actually unlock different game modes to play, which is very weird. You think they just kind of, you know, after a few games, give you access to everything, but they don't. I don't know why, but it is essentially kind of like a mountain blade style game where it takes heroes and warriors and people notable throughout history and different dynasties and puts them in a video game and lets you control them in a battalion of people and pretty much what you do is there's different game modes you pick a character you try to work well with your team to try to defeat the other team uh, the, there's different game modes obviously there's ones that are more like kind of domination style and you're kind of have one life and then there's ones like the siege battle over here which really allow you to like do like a more of attack and defend style like you're defending a fortress and then other people are attacking which I prefer that one but we're gonna jump right in and kind of show you the different things and the different gameplay uh, and a few of the different characters that you could play as and unlock and buy so if you like the video guys if you wouldn't mind giving a thumbs up on the video as well as subbing to the channel for further content right now I am challenging myself to do a upload of a video every day which i'm trying very hard on getting better with these things and kind of showing you new games that are coming out this game is free to play so if you do like the game and you want to test it out you're really not losing anything so in other news though i did set up the green screen i had it for a long time and i didn't really use it uh, but i think it's way better for youtube for me to use it rather than kind of a background just because I don't take up as much room, even though this big, bald, beautiful, shiny head, which you're going to have to stare at for the next 20 minutes, if you, you know what I mean, you're, uh, is going to kind of be in the way either way, but fuck it. So, there are characters you can unlock, okay? You can go in here and see all the heroes that are potentially unlockable. You play games, you do quests, you, you do challenges, you unlock... And you get more coins. So after you get enough coins, you can come in here and go in the store. And you go to Heroes and you buy whoever the heck you want. Another neat thing is the more you play is you do unlock trials. So you can use these to actually play a character for like a day or a couple days. And see if it's a character you like. Because across there's three different classes. And they all have different... Even though there's different classes, they all play vastly different. And their abilities are different. So I think it's nice that they add it in here that you can kind of test it out and trial it before buying a character. Because there has been a few characters that I just don't really enjoy playing that much. So it is what it is. It's a nice thing they added to the game. So we're going to go in here. I think we have a login thing. Yeah, we're going to get what, 10k. Oh, no, we don't have it. Uh, this is just what it does. There's like there's things in here. There's so many things in, it, or, in it, ways to get. Uh, currency, which I think uh, it's really bad. They added like way too much currency and ways to do things, and it, it gets complicated when you're first looking at it. So, uh, when you first start playing, you're pretty much only going to be able to play Legion War for like quite a few levels, like 20, 25 levels. So, I, I'm just going to show you right what you're going to expect when you start playing the game, and then I'll go into other things that you can do. So, we'll start with this, and we will. We'll just jump in and wait to see if we get a match. So this is like that that style of game where it's kind of like uh, domination. But really, uh, it, mostly people meet at points and they just fight to the death. And that's usually how you win. The last team standing wins. So as we're waiting, there's like three classes. You have like the people on horseback. You have people that are like warriors with like swords and shields. And then you have, like, archers, which they could have, you know, crossbows or whatever. They have their own abilities. So if we look over here, we can uh, we can see what our other players are playing. So we have we have a warrior. We have a 
Uh, someone with a bow. Another person with a bow. So I think I'm going to, like, go for, like, someone on the ground. Uh, no one's playing Godfrey. I, uh, we'll go right off the rip and play with play Godfrey. And then we can pick where we want to start. So let's start over with this dude over here in the corner because he seems like he's alone. And then we could hit prepare. So we definitely don't want too many archers on the team. Uh, I try to see what everyone else is running and then kind of go from there. Because, like, the archers are very, like, cushioned. Like, they're very soft. Like, if they actually get in the head-to-head -head combat, like, you can easily destroy them. So I got some people on horseback here. I'll follow this guy. He's going to get there way before I will. Let's do them a favor. Let's see what we can make happen. So you can see, like, in the top left corner, towards the top left corner, we have 24 we units, an and then there's a... You can command them to do certain things. Um, also, on the bottom of the screen, there's your We've special abilities as well as uh, abilities for the people that you're commanding. And he does have a sword, and he also does have a secondary, which is, like this uh, throwing axe. We've taken an objective. Go blood. We are capturing an objective. As you wish. Oh, we're so close. Follow me. Yes, my lord. Attack. Oh. Right, let's go after these guys here. What the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, I just hate, like, once they start attacking, they don't stop. Alright. Alright, let's just go out to these guys on horseback. Oh, you fucked, bro. You fucked, bro. Get rocked! You messed with the wrong battalion, brother. Alright, fuck these archers. Fuck these archers. That's right. I am the boss ass bitch. That is a G fucking G, bros. They got nothing on the two handed sword. That's what I'm right, We didn't get uh, the highest thing, but we did take out two people as, as a solo group. So we'll take that. I actually didn't think we were going to survive that. I was like, the other people on horseback like ditched me and they were like, fuck off, we out. And they left me to die. And somehow we prevailed because I, I, I have no idea how it just happened. It happened. But uh, that that's pretty much what you can expect. It's kind of that style. And like I said, you can kind of mess around with different different characters uh, as you play through. Um, and you do get a, quite a bit of the free trial. So, I mean, you can just mess around and see who you really like. I try to, like, at least learn a few characters. So... That's neat. Um, I'll show you. Let's let's go and do something different. Okay. Well, here's a quest. Like I said, you do gain stuff from doing these quests. So, all right. So I unlocked a trial for this character from doing a quest. And if we go into inventory, we do have a supply chest. These usually give you like silver, or they give you characters. Come on, say. you coward! Oh, we got a new hero. Actually, we unlocked Godfrey. He was on a trial. Nice. That's neat. That actually gives a character. Wait, can we use this again? Or is this bugged? Wait, let's go back in here. Okay, it was bugged. That's like, oh shit, we got it back. Okay, so we unlocked we unlocked the guy we just played, so I'll take it. He doesn't really cost Come that on, much. I think he's like 10k only. But I do like him as a character. Alright. So let's go, let's go into Siege Battle and then I'll show you a Siege Battle. You can do a 6v5 or a 10v8, but I'll just leave it and let it decide because the more, the less you let it, 
the, if you just let everything on, it's faster to find a match. I don't want to sit here for like a minute. All right. So we're going to be attacking because we have more people. The people that have less are usually the one defending. So this is like uh, attacking a, a castle or a, a town, a fortress, and whatnot. So let's see what everyone else picks. So we got an archer, and everyone else is probably going to stay with that. It's very hard. Like attacking on here is definitely better going as not an archer. So let's go with here. Let's play. Let's play Dao Chan. Ah, uh, I spent too much time talking to you people. Did it actually pick it? Okay, it did. Well, I wanted to switch out to better healing supplies, but that's alright. So we'll play this character. I want to say you get her right off the bat. I want to say the one that they make you play right after, right when you start is Caesar. He's pretty good, um, but because it's just because he's so basic. So we'll have these guys follow us, and we'll see where we can kind of breach into this castle. So this game mode, I kind of wish that they, I think there'd be more retention in this game if they let people play all the game modes, because I think this game mode's a lot more fun. But that's my opinion. Here, we got some archers. All right, shields up, shields up. All right, we're gonna go right up here. Okay. Oh, is that a dog? They have a dog. What the hell? I don't want to kill a dog. Don't make me kill a dog. Oh, that's some fucked up shit. Oh my god, who has the dog? Oh my god. They're gonna actually make me kill a dog. He looks friendly as shit. I don't want to kill a dog. That's some messed up shit. All right. Yeah. We're gonna go down. Oh well, we're gonna have to kill a dog because otherwise we're gonna lose. Our battering ram is attacking the gate. Double kill. Oh, it's a hound kingsman. I can't get any of those people to actually get up here. They're they're stuck. Well, there are some glitches in the game. We need to go back. Is there someone playing as a dog? Okay. Uh. I guess we're slowly making it up? I don't know. Oh my god, the whimpering. Why would they make me? I've never seen dogs in this game. I swear to god, never. Alright, let's rally. Another thing is here in the bottom corner, you see how many troops you have access to. So I have like quite a bit. All right. Okay. They made it up good. They were stuck there for a hot fucking minute. They were just chilling out like, nah, nah, sis, you got this. I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I need your help. So we made it in. So that's good. Oh my God. Double kill. Man, that's some fucked up shit sending dogs in to fight. That's messed up, game. That is messed up as fuck. Alright, we got horseback people here too. Shit. We are capturing an objective. 
Go, 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 go. All right, let's heal up quick while we have some time. Oh, we're going to get run over. Oh, this is freaking chaotic, dude. Got him, got him, got him. Slay him. Alright, let's see. Oh, we're kind of stuck up front. Alright, we're slowly making through. We're making it through. Alright, run away. Ring away. All right, let's rally some more troops while we have time. And we don't have people fighting us right now. All right. So we still have like 106 more troops left, so that's pretty good, because we already made it in. Our ram is advancing. Oh, someone else is playing Dao Trauma. All right, let's go down here into A. Yeah, let's go down here and capture this point. So we have to capture all these points, and then we go into the next capturing point. An objective. So we'll chill out here. We'll chill out here for a bit. So I think this game mode's the most fun because it's actually You're like more kind of what you expect from this style of game, like an attack and defend. I don't know. For me, it's in more enticing than the other game mode. But there's a bunch of other ones you can You're unlock too, an which I'm going to probably place. play after this one and show you, which I haven't actually gotten to play advancing. yet. So we'll see. We shall see. An objective. Double kill. Actually, let's let's turn this down a little bit. We are capturing an objective. There we go. We'll just like I just want to lower it a little bit because I don't want to be too loud and like drowning objective. me out. Not that you came here to actually hear me talk, but all right. Uh, we're almost got it. And then we can move on. We got B2, so that's good. And let's see. Does any motherfuckers need our help? I hear clashing of swords. Oh, shit. Look at this. All right. Charge. Get him, get him, fuck him up. I actually can't tell. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, we are fucked big time, dude. Yeah, this is this is not good. This motherfucker hits really hits really fast, dude. Yeah, we can. Luckily, we can kind of get out of there by using a shoulder slam. Yeah, we got no people left. Woo he! We are capturing the enemy base. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't actually know where they spawn at though. Okay, reinforcements are here. That's good. Oh, that's our own teammate. Dude, I'm trying to kill my own teammate. Dude, I'm hitting all the shit ton of these people. They have to be dead soon. Oh, you bitch. Sword so goddamn long. It's all right. We just gotta beat these guys down. We're gonna be in soon. 
Uh, I'm running. I don't have that many reinforcements left. So our goal is to get back to that one to start capturing. Actually, we already have it 54% of the way. And we still have five minutes left. Uh, do we have people up here? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's clutch as shit. GG to that archer. These guards here that, like, block it are really hard to kill. They're not actually anybody's players. They're just, like... They take so many hits. So let's see. Right. We're slowly making it through. My lord, die already. Alright. We'll, we'll pull two more troops. We'll have them follow us. Alright. It's probably the final push here. We only got four minutes left, so... Oh, you bitch. Oh my. See, they don't always go. Like, if they're being attacked, they won't actually, like, always go where you want them to. Like, I want them to attack that guy back there, but because there's a whole crew here, they're not going to. You thought, bitch. We got, we got reinforcements, boys. Let's go. Alright, we can rally some more. Might as well. How are we not dead? Fuck you, you don't get to survive. Bitch. That's it, that's GG's. We won. We captured it all. So that was a lot more fun because you have like reinforcements, you can respawn if you die, and I don't know. I like that one more than the original. That's my opinion though. Who's he playing? Oh yeah, he's playing Hanzo. Well, not my best fought to battle ever. Alright, so we got an achievement. Oh, five battles on that map. Uh, let's see, what else is there? I think there was one other that I wanted to do. It's not Siege Battle, was it Versus? Oh, the Hero Arena. Oh, yeah, you could I can't do this one because you need, like... You need, like, two of each type of character to do this one. So, yeah, yeah, but I think this one's like you go against AI or another person and you like actually control like two warriors, uh, two horsemen, uh, and then two archers or something like that. Cause like when I go to play, it says the current number of available heroes does not meet the minimum standard. You need two warriors, two archers, two riders, which I don't have. So I can't do that one. Uh, so we're going to do, let's do another versus play. We'll do another Legion war. And then maybe I can like get to play an archer so I can show a little bit of archer.
I've only like hit the fucking wrong button like five times to where I've just like literally black screened everything because I wasn't hitting the function button. See, I don't have I don't have a full size keyboard. I use like a ducky keyboard. And I actually sold the full-size keyboard that I kind of kept around. But this game is good if you have a full-size keyboard because it actually uses, uh, like, uh, like the, uh, the function keys, F1 through 12. And, which I could rebind, but I don't want to go through and do it. I, I could use, I have a function button, and I just have to press, like, 1, 2, 3. And, and that, that's how that works. But if I, pre I keep pressing the button next to the function key... Oh, shit. Well, fuck it. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to play Archer, even though we're probably going to get fucking wrecked because there's already, like, two other ones. But I kind of want to show what you could do with it. So we're going to play Lee, uh, Lee Gong, who uh, has probably been my favorite Archer thus far. Mostly because I like that he can, like, he has this a, a thing where he can actually have those troops shoot like up in the air and then down rather than a lot of the other ones only shoot directly. So like you can actually kind of shoot from a distance and not actually have to be on a higher level to hit people. But it's just kind of like the nuance for this guy. He also does have a horseback so I can show that to you. That's why I want to play him. But it's a pretty well polished game for free to play. I mean, you could put some money into it and buy characters, but uh, I, for me to put money into a game, even though it's free to play, is something that like, for like a character or a skin, is something that I know that I'm gonna play a lot of, and I'm not entirely sure like how much I'll end up playing the game overall, whether it's gonna be worthwhile. Okay, like nobody came A. It's kind of rough. So you have people on C though. We've taken an objective. The enemy is capturing an objective. The enemy is taking an objective. Maybe we can hold strong here. Ugh, not very likely, dude. Not very likely. See, this is the thing. If you don't have enough people as far as archers go... Actually, we only have one dead, but yikes! Yeah, we're probably pretty screwed here. Like I said, like you only really need like maybe like one archer. Like, so don't get like too far with. It. Oh, we have people not moving. That's why we have two people that aren't playing. Might be able to get like a kill here or something, but I don't think it's gonna be much. The enemy is capturing an objective. Yeah, we're probably pretty fucked. 
We have people that aren't playing this game, so... Yeah. Oh my god, look at this shit. Yeah, GG's. Uh, we had like two, I went, there was at least two people that weren't doing anything in that game. They literally like, I don't know, just quit or something or they crashed maybe? I don't fucking know. But we got fucking wrecked. But, that's Blood of Steel kind of like very in a nutshell kind of only skimming the surface kind of shit. There's a lot more to the game. There's a lot of things with currency and all that shit. But I don't really want to go through it because I'm just going to confuse the fuck out of everyone if I do that. Because it took me a hot minute to realize. But just know that when you play the game that you're going to start with only being able to play Legion War. And you're going to play that for quite some time. You can buy characters and whatnot. But you're not going to be able to play things like Siege Battle, Ranked, and Campaign until you get a higher level. I think it's well worth, and I think the game might attract people long enough for them to play that long, but, like, I don't know. I can see, like, level 5, level 10, but they make you get to, like, level 25, and it's really weird. You're really expecting people to, like, latch on to one game mode for quite a while, which is a lot of, like, hoping. So, I mean, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you played the game, like I said, it's free to play, so you're not really losing anything. Uh, I'm a sucker for any game that's medieval warfare, so. Uh, for me, I enjoy it. I think it's pretty well done. They're not charging anything. And there is a decent player base as I make this video. So you're not going to really wait any longer than, like, I really haven't waited any longer than a minute. In that. And if I have waited longer, it's probably, like, really late at night where, like, people aren't playing on NA servers because it's like three in the morning so give it a shot let me know what you think i think the game has a lot of potential i like where it's going i think the more you play you'll be able to play more fun game modes give it a shot play it let me know what you think until next time guys uh stay healthy and keep on gaming